Well, that's the big question. Let's explore the Greek and Eurozone dilemma a bit more with our expert in the studio, Marcel Fratscher, president of the German Institute for Economic Research. Good to have you here with us. Now, the first question, obviously, is in these days, does the new government in Athens, uh, does Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras and his finance minister, Yanis Varoufakis, do they know what they're doing? It's very hard to say. It's a big gamble they are doing at the moment because they want to get a concession from Europe in order to fulfill the promises they have made to, to their electorate. And I think uh, they might lose at least part of that gamble because they will not be able to get everything they want from the European partners. So um, the big question is how it will play out in the coming months. Um, and there is still a big risk that it will not work out for the Greek government because in a way it cannot end the austerity program without defaul defaulting on the debt, right. continuing the reforms. But le let's play through that, because, I mean, they, I think that they're both probably intelligent people and they will have played through all these scenarios as well. So if Greece was to default on its debt and goes bankrupt, how exactly does that work? I think the first step most likely would be the banks in Greece. Uh, we see capital flight from Greek banks at the moment. Uh, this capital flight could accelerate in the coming weeks and months if there's not a clear signal that the government will continue the reforms. A banking collapse would almost immediately mean also an economic collapse because companies would not be able to get loans anymore, could not invest, could not spend. That would mean we would have a deep economic downturn in the country. That would also mean the revenues for the government would collapse. The deficit would increase again. The Greek government would have to spend a lot less. So austerity would be a if lot tougher. If they can spend anything, of course. I mean, an alternative would be for Greece uh, to leave the euro, the Brexit, uh, and print its own money. Why not? It's an option uh, that Greece has. The only one who can decide on that is a Greek government. They can decide whether they stay or whether they go. No one else. Mm -hmm. Now, this could, of course, be in the long run, may look appealing, but we must be aware that in the short run, the economic consequences would be dire. It would mean, first of all, having their own currency, which would devalue strongly against the euro. Yeah. So if you're a Greek... But that is the idea, isn't it? To make Greece more compatible. Um, well, it would really hurt companies in the short run, right? Because if you're an entrepreneur and you have a credit, a loan in euros, but your new currency is a lot worth less, that means actually you, you have to repay a lot more in domestic currency. That means a lot of companies would be bankrupt as well because they could not service their debt. If they're bankrupt, cannot get access to loans, it would mean they could not invest. Again, unemployment would rise, income wages would fall, and the economy would, would really sink into a deep economic depression. So that's the Greek side. How would a Grexit affect the rest of the Eurozone? The short answer is no one knows. And we should be very, very careful in making any projection because we know in September 2008, everyone said, look, Lehman Brothers can go bankrupt, won't have any impact or no big impact. And we know we were completely, completely wrong. So financial markets are very tricky to predict, to understand how that will play out. I think we should have no illusion. Europe would pay a very high price, economic and political price, from a Brexit, mm. because we would see a spillover in particular to southern Europe. Financial but why? Because well, we hear that quite often, that Spain, for example, Portugal would follow suit. But their cases are very different. We've been told by experts again and again that you can't compare them to Greece. We cannot compare them. That's absolutely true. But what would happen politically uh, if Greece left the euro? What would happen politically in Spain? Would Podemos win the next election? Would try to go the same way as the Greek government now? Um, so what would happen in financial markets? Would interest rates rise because investors withdraw their money and then we would be again in, in a recession in southern Europe? Uh, so unemployment could rise again, uh, income fall, and then ultimately also we in Germany would be affected by it. Okay. Very volatile times ahead. Marcel Fratscher, thank you very much.